Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss about unification algorithm. Uh, so unification algorithm or uh, unification is the process of uh, taking two different logical statement and uh, trying to make some uh, substitution for the variables in the statements and making it as a common identical statement. Okay, so that is unification. In unification, you're going to take some logical statement you're going it is a process of making two different logical atomic expression identical by making some substitution okay so here what you're going to do is this is uh, mainly used for uh, first order logic statement uh, the reason why we need a unification is to find a resolution for first order logic statement uh, we have already discussed about this proportional logic uh, proportional logic is very simple, right? You have this declarative statement alone, a statement which has either true or false condition. Okay, so we have this uh, proportional logic statements, connectives, and we know how to apply a resolution algorithm for this proportional logic. And when it comes to this first order logic or predicate logic, it is a bit tough. Okay, uh, uh, we cannot call it as tough, it is uh, complicated than the propo proportional logic statement. Okay, so here we have this universal quantifier in addition to all those that we have done for this uh, proportional logic. Okay, so we have to find a way of using these um, indicators like this universal quantifiers and finding a logical reasoning out of the statement. Okay, so for that we are using this unification. So here it is mainly depending on a uh, substitution method. So what you're going to do, we take any first order logic statement, make a substitution, convert that statement into a normal expression, like a, a proportional logic statement. And we are going to verify whether the substitution that we have made it right, like that should be identical to the existing one, already existing one, whether the substitution can be made to it or not. Okay, so that process is called unification. Okay, and once it is done, you're going for this lifting process. Lifting process is nothing but like we have already used this uh, modus ponens, modus tollens rules and all for your proportional logic statement, right? How are you going to extend that to a uh, first order logic statement? So that is called a lifting process. Okay, so in this session, you're going to discuss this unification, substitution. Okay, I can come in order. Substitution, unification and lifting process. Okay, so first we'll start with what is a substitution. So for why we are using it? To convert any first order logic statement into a proportional logic statement. We are using this substitution method. Okay, substitution is the process of What we do in substitution is we try to take the universal quantifier for all and that existent x. We try to find a way in which we can eliminate this for all x and for their existent x. Okay, so first we'll go with this for all x, universal quantifier. So for all x actually means that this x is a variable and wherever this variable comes, you can make any substitution for that variable. Okay, so what you're going to do, uh, let us just take this as a formula. Okay, I have taken this from this calculatory book. So here you have for all variable followed by a statement. Okay, so for all variable in this statement, it applicable. So what we are going to do, we are going to make a substitution. Substitution of instead of this variable, I'm going to use a term in the entire statement okay so this is how your substitution works see when it is for all x it works for a universal one whatever value you put up for this x it has to accept it what we do we search for a term in a knowledge base it is a term okay so any term it is already existing in the knowledge base we try to take the term and apply it over here instead of the variable and remove the quantifier okay so one example i can say is for all x, and I can use the statement as uh, if x is a student and x is kind, that implies x is intelligent. 
This is one small example I'm going to take. Okay, so here it actually means that it is a quantifier like this. Okay, so when there is an x and if x is a student and x is kind, then that means that x is intelligent. Okay, so this is a given statement. And in my knowledge base, if I have student of Branu and kind of Branu, Branu is a term, I can utilize it instead of x in the formula. So what I can do, I can rewrite the statement as student of Branu and Branu is a student and Prano is kind, which implies that Prano is intelligent. Okay, so I am going to make a substitution instead of a vary, the variable where you have it is bounded under this universal quantifier, right? We take that bounded variable and make a substitution based on the term that is already existing in the knowledge base. I'm going to take this. And after making the substitution, I'm going for this lifting process now, com combining this for all quantifier, followed by the student of Prano, kind of Prano, with this new derived rule. So we can call it as a new rule by that is added to your knowledge base after making substitution. What we do, we take a rule, uh, eliminate that universal quantifier and add the resultant one as a rule. When I combine all these things, I can say that it is already proven that Prano is a student and it is already proven that Prano is kind. With this, you can use an AND insertion formula for it. So once this AND insertion formula is done, it is like P implies Q and given P. Okay, so student, Prano is a student and Prano is kind is already proven. And it is to mention that when Prano is kind and Prano is a student, that implies that Prano is intelligent. We can prove this. So we can write it as intelligent of Prano, add this into a knowledge base. So it is like adding the rules to a knowledge base. We have, we make some progression, we make some uh, resolution out of it, add the rule. Okay, so here we have used this modus ponens rule with the enhanced version for a for all quantifier and that is called a lifting process. We have lifted it. Got it? I hope this is clear for your for all x quantifier how you're making a substitution for all x is very simple it works universally so i can make any term that is available in the knowledge base take the term apply it over here and finally complete it okay so the next one is how you're going to use this there exist quantifier so there exists quantifier is by a bit complicated it is not that easy like your uh, universal quantifier so what we can do we can take there exists an x there exists a variable in the statement. So this variable is bounded under this there exists function. So what are you going to do? We are going to make a substitution of instead of the variable. What we have done here in case of for all x, we have taken a term that is already existing in the knowledge base and use that. Okay, the reason is it is applicable for all. So whatever is the term that is already existing in the knowledge base should actually go ahead with this, right? But when it comes to there exist, only very few goes over there. Okay, let us consider two terms, Pranu and Mahi in my example. Okay, so I'm going to take the example is student of Pranu or student of X. Okay, so there exists an X and X is a student. Now, already I have a term called Pranu or uh, Mahi. Like it is not a term, it is like a variable or a constant value, Pranu or Mahi in my example. But I'm not sure like whether Pranu is a student or Mahi is a student. Okay, since it is that exists exist quantifier, it may or may not be applicable for all. Okay, sometimes Pranu might be a student or Mahi might be a student. There is one criteria that is satisfying over here. So what we do in this case, we ignore this knowledge base. We don't take any term that is already available in the knowledge base. We use a new constant variable over here. So when you are making a substitution for that exist quantifier, we take a constant value that is not available in the knowledge base already. And we use that constant value as a substitution for the variable in the statement. Okay, so this is for all x and there exists a variable quantifier. So when there is an for all quantifier and there exists quantifier, we know how to make a substitution. 
okay so this is how your substitution works so once we are able to make a substitution what is the next step we know how to lift that okay so lifting is also done now we are making some substitutions right we want to make sure whether this substitution that we have made is applicable or not whether it is allowed or not okay we cannot directly use a substitution just like that we want to make sure that the uh, substitution that you have made is going ahead with the existing knowledge base statement so what we do we take one statement and we compare that with the existing statement and we try to find a common substitution that will make these two statement as a unified one when you are making a substitution there should not be any issue in this okay so that is called unification process okay so unification process is like mm -hmm. we are going to take unify of a comma b and you are going to add this as a formula okay so when you when there is a possibility of adding this as a formula that only by making a substitution of in the formula when you make a substitution as a it should be equal to in the formula when you are making a substitution as b like you will understand it with the example okay so rather than going ahead blindly like this i'll take one example so that we'll understand it better i'm going to take a statement x and rita are friends but we don't know who is this x is okay so we have to search for the knowledge base where we can have a possibility of applying value in terms of this x okay so already in the knowledge base i have few statements okay let us consider that uh, friends of rita seema i'm trying to make a substitution for this x nothing but that okay and friends x comma maya friends y comma neha so these are all the existing formulas that are already available in my database now i'm trying to find a proper substitution or whichever is applicable like when i want to use a new rule over here whatever is possible applications over there okay we cannot directly take all values and make a substitution even then you have a problem with this okay so i'll show you with one by one so i'm going to take first exam for this first substitution is just normal one i'm just going to take friends of rita comma x in all three possibility i'm just going to take the same this is my first formula the formula that i'm planning to take for substitution now i'm comparing with those existing one okay so i'm just taking these statements that are already there friends of rita and seema i'm just going to find whether these two statement can be made as unified by making some substitution and similarly here friends of x comma maya and friends of y comma neha i'm trying to find a substitution for all this possibility i'm trying to check whether it is possible to make these formulas unify by making some substitution okay i have to find all possibilities right so first i'll take this statement here so here the first statement is x is a friend of rita and here it is seema is the friend of neha sorry rita okay so rita is the same term and instead of x if i make the substitution as seema then these two formulas can be unified so this can be done one i once i made this x as seema when i substitute x in uh, seema instead of x i can unify these two formulas so this can be added as a knowledge base and we can make a substitution over here okay so this is allowed i am i think you are, you are getting it right so here rita is a friend of x and here in the statement already given you have that seema is a friend of rita so rita is common in both the cases and in case of x if i substitute it as seema i can get the formula this formula can be modified as seema right it is going to be unified okay so this is called unification process and this is done by making a substitution of seema instead of x variable so this can be added as a new substitution and can be added as knowledge base now coming to this next portion i have 
we x is a friend of eta and maya is the friend of x so i have two variable two values here one is eta and maya i am trying to make a substitution for x here only one variable x is there and two two terms here one is eta another one is maya i am trying to make one possible substitution where we can make these two statement as equal now in case instead of x if i substitute it as eta i'll have it like this eta eta so this seems to be quite easy since maya is the friend of eta but here in this place what happened eta is a friend of eta it is not equal right we after making the substitution we cannot say that these two statement are equal here it is eta is the friend of eta whereas here maya is the friend of eta so we cannot say that these two are unifying uh, the same happens when i make a substitution for maya too okay so here when i make x is maya i can say here the formula as maya is a friend of eta but here maya is the friend of maya which is not acceptable again so for these kind of statements using these two existing term we cannot make any substitution so this is called unification failed over here okay so when i use this like it seems to be easy when we are manipulating we as a human when you are manipulating we know the possibilities we think ahead like this but the problem is we want to make these things as an uh inbuilt process like you are going to use an nlp for processing all this right so we are going to find a way or a algorithm where it automatically takes take the statement to think all possibilities and find a solution out of it so when you want to automate things it is bit complicated you have to find all possible constraint constraints over here okay so now coming to the last example i have two variables x and y i have to verify on basis of making a substitution for x and making a substitution for y whether i am able to uh, make these two unify now instead of x if i make the substitution as neha and instead of y if i make the substitution as rita what happen i'll have friends of rita instead of x make it as neha and here friends of instead of y make it as rita comma neha see this is unified okay on making these two substitution you are able to unify these two formula so this can be added as a new unification rules okay and here also rather than having x and x when you make modify one variable like if there exist a variable as y and new variable as y then the substitution works okay only in this case it is not working okay so after finding this unification we have we have to make a proper substitution like unification is a process of uh, finding a new substitute thing okay what term can be substituted in the formula to make them unify and once this substitution is ready we apply that into the existing uh, first order logic statement and convert those statement in terms of uh, here see we have taken this existing uh, first order logic statement and we have converted after finding the proper substitution we convert that that statement into a proportional logic statement and once it is a proportional logic statement we know how to manipulate it we have a resolution algorithm for applications right got it so that is the use of this unification process and lifting process okay so lifting us with the existing uh, logical operations that we have done already okay so we have this reductions and all right reduction detection and all so modus tollens modus ponens rule and all we take those rules that are specifically designed for a proportional logic statement and try to use that for a first order logic statement and find a resolution out of it okay got it Thank you.